Hi Aquarius, this is your reading for the 14th to the 20th of uh, March 2022. I hope you're well and thank you very much for liking and sharing. You have come in on the eight, uh, ninth place um, and uh, also um, I hope you are enjoying your week so far. This is for next week. Like I said, we are also next week, we'll be going into uh, Aries. There will be, we're going also into spring on the 21st and there will be full moon on the 18th. So again, a big shift of energy. Instead of emotion, uh, emotional energy, uh, also intuitive and empathic, we are going into action, being more strategic and perhaps more passionate um, as we are going into a fire sign. Also being more creative and going for what we want. Definitely. Also, um, you have some, um, some fire energy in your reading. We start off with fire and worries. Perhaps you might be worried about your relationship or about your passion. This could be with a person, but this can also be about a hobby. Because passion is, when you're so passionate about something, uh, it can be with a person, of course, passion, fiery love and passion. Or your passion could be a hobby, something that you love to do, that you can uh, lose yourself in and escape the real world and go into your own little world. That is just the nice thing about hobbies and passion. You can just sort of dream away. And I uh, I think you're not dreaming at the moment, but you are far away. You're in your head because you come in with the nine of swords. You could be stuck in your head and worrying and mulling things over. Also, the nine of swords means um, you might have sleepless nights because of worrying. Uh, you might be stressed out. So calm down. I know it's easier said than done, but come out of your head and enjoy life. As if, you know, you can't worry because half the stuff that we worry about never um, becomes real. Nine is an ending. So where there is an ending, there is a new beginning. And what a beautiful beginning. You're, the sun is shining on you. So whatever you're worried about, let it go. Put it next to your clothes at night and give it to the cosmos or the divine. And they will um, sort it out for you, but in divine time. Perhaps you might want something very desperately and right now or preferably yesterday. Well, that is not how things work, is it? Things work in divine time, when the time is right and when the situation is right. So you've got to be at the right place at the right time and it will come. <coughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. I just choked on a bit of water. Sorry. Also, you um, have the sun. So there could be a Leo around you that is interested in you, in partnering up in business or in love. As the sun shines on you, you are being seen for who you are and what you're doing. Awesome. You could expect a promotion or a pay rise. That could be a wish of yours. And um, well, it's, that's what you could be worried about if you're going to get the job or not, or if you're going to have a relationship with this person you might have gone it might be a passionate relationship but perhaps you want it long term and you might have spoken to that person about it to make it long term or you might have had a proposal or you might have given a proposal Aquarius you know what it resonates with uh, for you also the the time is fertile so you could be finding out you're pregnant or uh, that is what you're pregnant uh, worried about, that you are pregnant. Well, I would suggest talk to your partner about it. Also, um, don't worry. Things aren't as bad as they seem. 
because the sun is shining on you you are in the spotlight so you are being noticed for your diligence your patience and your bright sunny and um, bubbly um, character and your your mood because at night you can't sleep but you're bubbly on the outside so have a look are you worried about something is it something that you should worry about or not so all you have to do is put your worries next to your clothes go to sleep rejuvenate and rest once you wake up you feel refreshed and you're ready to go because like i said we're going into fire signs so it's going to be a busier time more energy energy is required you could be finding out you're pregnant because um, the sun also means pregnancy but the, if i've already said that if you don't want to get pregnant then take precautions also time is fertile for new beginnings like a new job a new study uh, a new something perhaps you could be moving home or buying a new home or renting a new home as this card also represents moving home you might be starting to live with somebody you're moving in or somebody's moving in with you perhaps that is worrying you well don't just enjoy it you've been planning this far ahead and you've been talking about it so don't worry if you start worrying you're killing the joy okay so don't it's always a big step to take and it is very adventurous so enjoy the adventure you want excitement anyway you're not somebody that sits on their laurels and lets the world pass you by you're just like the other air signs and Gemini and uh, Libra they don't sit on their laurels either they're always active and especially Gemini. Gemini is always on the go. So take a page out of their book. So just be the air sign. Be free. Feel free. Wow. Just like the wind. Let the wind come go through your hair. Go outside and enjoy the sun. Also enjoy the time that you spend together. So the sun you are in the spotlight now we all know that and that means that there is also illumination so you need to do more research with regards to a situation or a question that you might have that said if you're traveling check that everything your itinerary that you've got your id with you and whether you can travel to where you are going as the restrictions are being lifted worldwide also you might not have to wear a mask anymore anyway that is what the situation is in Europe you don't have to wear a mask anymore and I've heard in Canada as well anyway just always take the mask with, with you and you won't have to um, worry about situations like that okay Aquarius you've also got the two eights three eights wow three eights so you've got the eight of swords you're stuck in your head so it's confirming the overall energy the nine of swords now you are not seeing what is happening around you the beauty of it what is on offer that you are in the spotlight so take that blindfold off open your mind open your mind don't be stuck in your mind to new things to new ideas and bring them out into the material world also open your heart and your solar plex let the three L's in love laughter and life life happens very quickly so enjoy each day as it comes underneath this card we've got the two of cups again confirming that there could be a soulmate wanting to partner up with you or you will meet your soulmate two means partnering up now you've also got the eight of cups you want excitement i said to you you want excitement and you want adventure well it is right in front of you only if you open your mind and your eyes you will see that there is adventure coming in 
and it's going to be a successful adventure you're going to have victory because you've got the six of wands again moving forwards onto the next level in romance or career promotions wage rise or getting married or starting a family or getting engaged if you're single and you're going and you're only going out like i said this is the marriage card so is this moving home going on holiday and if you're traveling it could be by car also um, the six means that you're in balance two six so you're emotionally in balance and definitely it is also confirmed by all the even numbers and by the six that means you're more than halfway there so enjoy it you are stronger than you think you are you've got strength here this is um, the physical strength the chariot is the uh, mental strength but i this is also more or less the same energy as the chariot moving on and going on and upwards you're being the champion victory so definitely your mental and your physical strength are st stronger than you realize so come on come out of your head you've got the wheel of fortune as well you're going upwards to positivity definitely what goes round comes round what goes up must come down also again moving home or moving in together or buying a house together also going on holiday so you've got three cards here with this a lot of the same meanings now the wheel of fortune represents taurus it represents leo this is leo here it also represents scorpio and aquarius so you could be dealing or meeting with an other aquarius or partnering up or perhaps you might it might not be a person it might have already started in aquarian time and now you're putting on the finishing touches boom you are working on the web as well most probably or meeting people on the web you definitely i think this is more of a love reading or a partner a business partnership as you've got the two of cups and you've got the lovers so this is a, definitely a partnership of some kind it could be somebody um, that is living on the other side of the world and you're connecting or you've met up uh, on the web again this is a karma card if you've done good then you will receive go good back threefold if you've done wrong karma three and then you'll get three the bad back or the negativity back threefold as well if somebody's done this to you they will get their karma and then justice will be done also perhaps that is what you're worrying about whether somebody's going to get their karma or their justice although it isn't the justice card listen to your intuition open your mind open your third eye and your earthly eyes so believe and you will receive definitely with the queen of cups she believes she's empathic she listens to her intuition and she's loving passionate nurturing caring sensual and sexy <clears throat> this could be um scorpio so you've got scorpio here and you've got leo twice three times and in this week's readings there's a lot of triple or double characters represented by the cards or zodiac signs and what was amazing it was also i think it was in sagittarius they had four times leo so leo the fire energy is definitely showing up trumps so you've got a scorpio here but don't forget the queen of cups it can be a pisces or pisces time or it can be um a cancer you've got the gemini as well because you've got the lovers so if you're not meeting a, a, a water sign take a page out of their book love yourself take care of yourself then you can take care of others and that will bring you back in balance the two of cups is balance 
the six and two sixes here the sixes means your balance and also more than halfway there wow this is really an, a great reading such a positive reading and with these two cards when they came out and that one i thought oh no but the bottom row is absolutely picking out the perfect things you are just like two peas in a pod you think the same way you act the same way you are with somebody or you're going to be with somebody either in business or in romance that enjoys the luxury of life the quality of life and is balanced your ideas will be um, supported by your soulmate this doesn't have to be a partner for life it can also be a best friend for life so it can be anybody it could be a lady or it a, a, there's or it could be a man now what else this is gemini i just feel that you're going to spread your wings perhaps and reach for the sky and fly you're going to be happy it is a fairy here and i think it is more or less an angel the angels have your back what with the two sixes and the three eights magic numbers now for your romance card aquarius let's see what we have okay and i'm taking the one that sticks out the furthest and you've got chemistry now if you're not looking for romance or you don't want anything to know about romance this is all you can use these cards also for the general there will be chemistry between you and another person whether it is uh, the same ideas you think the same that is the chemistry the brains working uh, like yours wow that is awesome there is you know you chemistry your body works the chemistry in your body works you get excited you get butterflies that is what's happening between you two with these happy cards there is strong magnetic attraction here yes sort looks for sort or sort attracts the same sort so this is definitely good and great energy now from the surrounding deck we have the surrender to trust learn to trust but also learn to ask talk ex communication open your eyes your eyes will if you look into somebody's eyes you will find out whether they are telling you the truth <coughs> excuse me you can read so much from eyes because they show emotions the windows and the eyes are the windows to our soul remember that that eyes are the windows to our soul surrender to trust trust yourself and your decisions don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what to do take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path for you everybody's got a different northern note so follow your heart but don't throw away old shoes before you've got a new pair of shoes like a job the bills will still be coming in they have to be paid with love heal first from an an old love if you've had an old love if not then carry on but do ask and see whether there is chemistry and a click how do you feel so you must open up your solar plex and your heart with those two things and your eyes you will ob observe and feel it's a magical feeling to be in love i hope you've enjoyed this reading and for those that are already hooked up there could be new passion coming in and you might realize that you are with your soulmate enjoy the week please like and share and subscribe 
why not it's free and you only can get perks if you don't want to get notified then click the bell and put on private thank you